Hey dudes, what's going on here? Uh, I'm sure that you guys probably want Nemos in your tanks, or we really, really often call them our clownfish. Now, if you're a beginner and are probably looking to put a uh, clownfish inside your aquarium, there are a few things you need to know about them before you buy. So, here's some interesting facts about clownfish. Uh, clownfish come in many different varieties. Uh, I have two clownfish in here. Uh, I have a black one, which is uh, probably the earliest and uh, first morph of a clownfish. Uh, I have the uh, regular, the wild form. and the, But there's many more. There's uh, Picasso clownfish, black rice clownfish, all sorts that you can buy. There's also two kinds that uh, look very alike. Uh, Percula clownfish and Ocellarius clownfish. Where is it? Okay. Now, both of them look relatively the same, except Perculas look a little, uh, well, perky, I guess. But of course, there's many kinds like uh, tomato clowns and all maroon clowns and all sorts of stuff. Clarks, everything. But uh, if you want clownfish that look like Nemo, well, these are them. They're also part of the damselfish family, which means they can be kind of aggressive to other damselfish. So, for example, uh, humbug damselfish, blue devil damselfish, these guys would not get along, or get along with them very well. Clownfish also need a lot of hiding spots, like inside the live rock, since they, uh, they feel secure in the rocks. They don't need an anemone, although... Uh, it's nice to have it, but it's probably not good for a beginner. Uh, they can be housed in a 20 gallon or smaller aquarium. Uh, as I told you in the uh, overall care video of a saltwater aquarium, which if you haven't seen, go check it out. Fif my tank's 56 gallons, and that's probably a good starter size for any beginner. But 20 gallons, uh, the smaller you go in the tank size, the harder it is to take care of. So that's why I have this, uh, that's why I have a 56 gallon. If you have uh, food, well these guys, I personally like to feed them Rod's food. Now I did a review on that and uh, you can check that out on my channel. It's a, uh, you know, Rod's food. Uh, yeah, please check it out. And I have all of these, you know, uh, relatively, they're a hardy breed. They're a hardy fish. They don't uh, need special heating or lighting requirements. They don't need uh, lots of feedings. They don't need really a spe very specific water quality. So, luckily for the keeper, they're actually pretty easy. They're also not very expensive. You can get one for about 20 bucks, a wild one. You can get the black ones uh, for about uh, 40 bucks, and then every other morph goes up from there. And they can be up to $300. Also, another thing, you should always get captive bred ones. The captive bred ones are much harder than the wild ones. A lot of times, the wild ones will die if you don't have very specific water quality. The captive bred ones are cheaper and hardier. Anyway, my camera's kind of spazzing out, so uh, I think I'm going to sign off here. That's basically all you really need to know about clownfish, but do your research any all the time before you buy any fish.